anything like me, you not only spend 2020 navigating the Forgotten Realms or other fantasy worlds, you spend a lot of that time navigating sites like Fantasy Grounds, Roll20, Owlbear Rodeo, and more. A lot of question a lot of us new and experienced DMs have had is, you know, what campaign do I play next? So thanks to the people here at Really Dicey, I've been able to get my hands on some of these campaigns, and I'm able to give you my top five lists of various campaigns that I'll be reviewing going forward. In this video, I'm gonna give you my top five lists of the things I'm looking forward to in the deck of many, or hit point presses, Hecna. It's a fantasy horror carnival game that is sure to delight and excite you. And here's my top five list for the reasons to be excited for Hecna from Hit Point Press. Number five, this campaign setting comes with safety tools. So when sending off Hecna, you are given a whole list of PDFs that have various DM tools to help you navigate any situations that may arise that may have accidentally triggered a player that you have. The first thing that you should look at is the DM consent list. This gives you a list of situations that you can give to your players where they can check off things that they are okay with, not okay with, or absolutely can't handle. That way, when you're preparing the game, you don't accidentally hit those points that make your players upset, and you can have a smoother game. Number four. The tone, spooky meets silly. When you open this PDF for the first time, one of the first paragraphs that you get is how modular this game is. You can make it as spooky as scary as you want, so it can be something as easy as a Scooby-Doo thing for your younger fans, or make it as horrifying as you need for your more advanced or older folk. Number three, a creepy, classic setting that we're all used to. It's a carnival of terrors, excitement, and hopefully some really good prizes at the end. With an aesthetic reminiscent of the Devil's Carnival, it really brings to mind those like 1980s carnivals, as well as some of the old court jesters and Victoria era circuses. And that's part of what really got me excited for this. It drew out everything that I've always wanted to experience as a kid, age it up for adults, put it through the ringer, and put it in front of me with amazing illustrations. Number two, levels and level appropriate gameplay. If you play MMOs, you're familiar with the concept of areas being level locked. That way your level one character doesn't wander into a level 20 area and die immediately. Hecna is kind of the same in that respect. I don't mean to make this sound like you can't have a higher level character go into a low level area. This is just what's suggested if you're starting out from level 1. Very obviously, if you have a level 5 character and you want to experience a level 1 to 3 area, which is the Jamboree, these areas are also grouped by level in case you are sticking just a part of it into an ongoing campaign you're already running. If your characters have taken a break from something happening in Fandelver or in Neverwinter, then they can theoretically go on a trip, go up the road a bit, come across this carnival, and have an adventure inside. Obviously, it will be a lot more than they bargained for, but not particularly long, so it technically would be a break for them. A break that they'll never forget. And finally, number one. Gotta appreciate that art! If you've ever looked at something that was made by Hit Point Press, you know that their guides are filled with amazing illustrations, and Hecna does not disappoint. I had seen this Kickstarter going around for a couple of weeks, but what got me to slap down that 20 bucks was just this creepy illustration they had of a clown with some sort of mimic that had taken place of the clown's red nose. It was the creepiest thing I had ever seen. I need this immediately. That with looking at some of the other graphics, I said, I can't believe I didn't buy it already and got the 20 bucks in right before the Kickstarter ended. I'm very excited to see the playtest come out with all of their beautiful illustration and can't wait to have the full thing finished. And that's my list. Was there anything in Hecna that you wish I had brought up but didn't? Or have you never heard of Hit Point Press? Leave a message in the comments, and we'll address it in another video. Thanks, and make sure to like, share, and subscribe for new videos. I'm Roll for Babs with Really Dicey. Have a nice day.